Hey everybody, today we're playing Super Auto Pets. This is an auto battler I found on Steam through one of my friends at school. I started playing it and it's actually a whole lot of fun. I've kind of been playing it like every day for a bunch of hours. It's pretty hard to put down once you start. Um, now today I'm going to show you guys a strat and hopefully win with it. Um, one of my favorite strats currently, it's the Bison Rush. Um, so long story short, because I know probably a lot of you guys haven't played this game, but you get pets every single round. The bison, what's nice about it is it gives itself stats if you have one other pet that's maxed out, basically. So what we're going to be trying to do is that strat. Now, instead of just talking about it, I'm going to show you it in action. So let's start. So let's go ahead and click on arena mode and then we could start. It looks like we have some ants right off the bat. Now ants are pretty good for this strat. Really, you're going to be relying on these uh, level 1 pets um, to try to accumulate them really, really fast early in the game. So basically, you're going to want a maxed out either ant or um, a beaver by the time you get to the level 3 pets. So you can see we got extremely lucky here. The fact that we got four ants basically right off the bat. And here's the really important part of the strat. You're going to see that I could combine the ants, but, oh, and we got a super lucky. We got another ant. Really, what you're going to want to be doing is saving them because whenever you level up a pet, it gives you a pet in the shop of the next level. So what we're going to be doing is just trying to survive with these ants until we get to dice roll three of pets that way when we level them up we get a chance at the you know dice level four pets and once again we got another ant so what we're going to be doing is combining them so they're all basically one off from being leveled up so like i said when you level up a pet it gives you the one of the next dice so right now we're on roll two we need to get to roll three once we get to roll three then we can combine these ants to try to get lucky to get the bison inside of our shop and then because we have so many ants at the moment we're going to be pretty easily going to be able to you know get one of them to level three which is max and then the bison can start accumulating stats very early on in the game so basically up until now it's just been collecting a bunch of ants just trying to survive and again i really recommend doing the strat with the ants because um, the ants are pretty overpowered early game, and there is another ant, so we don't have any more gold, so we're going to go ahead and freeze that. But like I said, the ants are pretty good early game because their their stats are a slightly better than the normal uh, roll ones, and they actually buff someone else. So, okay, here, okay, we're going to lose right here, but that's okay. We just need to get the roll three. Bang, we made it to roll three, so now... We can actually start leveling up some of these ants. So you can see, bam, and we got lucky. Now this is the strat does rely on luck a little bit, but we did get the bison here, which is perfect because we're gonna be able to max out our ant right now, so it could start accumulating stats right now. So for now, the bison's only gonna get two two every single round. Okay, I was hoping for maybe a, another bison. We could try once again and my cat is at my door i'm really hoping it stops right about now okay <laughs> no i'm not going to get you i'm recording a video okay but anyway you could see that um we didn't get any second or third bisons but that's okay um we have you know next turn we're going to get our level four rolls and we're going to be able to continue to try to get more of the bisons here but for now um, I'm going in a little week without a fifth creature. Hey, I'm recording a video. Can I come out in like five minutes, please? Um, so we're kind of just hoping we survive this one here. It's looking actually not that... Okay, we actually survived it somehow, which is super interesting. Um, so what can we do? We have a turtle and a kangaroo. The kangaroos are pretty good... But they scale really horribly. Okay, guys, I swear my cat's not dying. She just won't leave my window alone. Um, so I'm going to freeze these kangaroos. If I can try to get it to a level 2 or 3, that can maybe be an option here. But um, for now, we're just going to freeze them and try to survive long enough to maybe either scale this bison into a 50-50 
or just kind of, um, you know, try to get a couple more. But again, you could already see the Bison just, you know, leveled itself up just a tiny, tiny bit. And it's already a 10-10, you know. Um, in just a couple turns, it'll be a 20-20. And, you know, I can basically move on from there. Let's try to level up a couple of these. Um, so like I said, the strat, this, this is the strat, you know, we got that level three ant and then bam, that second bison, that's actually more important than you might think. And it's very debatable whether the melon or the garlic is better on the bison. I think early game, mid to early game, the garlic is definitely better. Um, but late game, once you get um, the option to get melons, I would definitely switch over to melons. And here actually the kangaroo saved us. Now, like I said, the kangaroo isn't like one of my fav favorites, but what's really nice is if it's behind something like the bison with a whole lot of stats, it can be pretty good. But I think in this case, the hippo might actually be just slightly better. You know, if our bison was 50-50, then maybe the kangaroo would be better. And there's a third bison. So you know what? Actually, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that hippo. We're going to start scaling all three bisons here. And this is the core of the strat. Get a level three and try to hunt down as many bisons. Now, a lot of people would be very tempted to combine them here, but that's a terrible idea if you think about it logically. Because if you level, if you combine the bisons right now, you'll have a single bison that basically levels up four four. I think every single turn, or you could have three bisons that each level up two two. So instead of one bison at fifty fifty. You're going to have three Bisons at 50-50, and every turn you get 6-6 six, six instead of just 4-4. Four, four. Um, so once again, if you get in the situation where you have three Bisons and a Max, I very recommend not combining them. There's no point. You're going to build a much better scaling team comp if you leave them out separate. Now, if you get a fourth and fifth Bison, which is, you know, then you got extremely lucky, then yeah, go ahead and combine them, but... I would not combine them in the situation. So, um, now what I did along with um, the bisons is you guys saw that I added a turtle. Um, the reason I added that turtle is just to get a little bit of melon armor running. Like I said, the melon armor is pretty important late game when you have you know other people having like 35, 35 creatures. You're gonna need them. All right, so we've got three hearts currently. If we lose one more, we actually get kicked out. We have currently five wins. So. Really what we're banking on here is just pure scale. Um, we lost early game because we were trying to... <laughs> Casper, I need a couple minutes, okay? Okay, okay, I'll come out in a couple minutes. Um, early game, you sacrifice a lot of lives just trying to get all of these pieces together, especially getting that level 3 ant. Took a lot of our resources here, but, um, you know late game once you get to where we are now we're gonna scale so hard that it's gonna be pretty hard for us to lose you can see that we now have three bisons and they're all almost at 2020 now i know if we lose one more time we lose the entire game but the chances of us just losing are pretty low considering you know how hard up we're scaled already really the only way we can lose is if someone has either like a super crazy summon team comp with you know um, turkeys and a fly and you know lots of resummons or maybe a couple buses but even buses won't do us any won't do them any good so i guess for now i know there a lot of people would maybe try to go for rolls for turtles but honestly i think in this case it's more important just for pure scale so what i'm going to do here you guys saw that i'm going to be eating a lot of the food here just to get us up as high as quick as possible because again okay this guy has a scorpion here but okay that'll only take out a single one of my bisons and yep the rest of these are weak so you can see that the strats working you know um we're having a hard time losing here just because the bisons are just so stupidly big so i'm gonna keep going with my method here i'm gonna keep scaling i could be looking for creatures especially for the turtle but i don't think that's smart i think going the pizza sushi here is getting them as high as possible we need three more wins here which you know, I'll take a draw or two, but really we should just be tr trying to go straight for that win. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pizza and the sushi. Um, and then probably a cupcake here. Oh, you could use the apple, but I think 
the cupcake here ensures a win a little bit higher than the apple does okay so let's see what do we got here we got one bison but again now this is where the melon armor the melon armor basically saved us that that this game if we did not have that melon armor we probably would have lost right there so okay turtle coming in clutch now we just need two more wins um okay let's keep going let's keep rolling for the big foods i hate the salad is yeah that's not good enough here let's just go for the pizza and then we have two more gold to roll for maybe a turtle here no turtles okay but we did get a sushi so we're gonna go ahead and uh freeze that one for now and you can see our bisons are now at 30 30 so um although we wasted a lot of time and a lot of hearts getting here now that we're here you know we're gonna take that out we're we're, we're just gonna be smashing through honestly even gigantic creatures with garlic armors are nothing with uh you know against these bisons here okay um keep scaling sushis more pizzas let's do another gold i think we're gonna yep get another pizza here and we can keep going and i think we're gonna win here like i said if he has something crazy like a crazy summoner or a lot of scorpions but see this guy messed up by putting his scorpions um putting the scorpion in the front our bisons are in the back so we basically just won off of that and that is the 10 trophy win right there so once again guys that is the bison strat um very easy just try to get a level three ant super quickly if not an ant you know you could try to go for the beaver or the fish the fish is the second most likely in my opinion either ant or fish try to get that level three as quick as possible um before roll three now here's the thing once again you want to make sure to not level them up into a level three creature yet you just want them all on the board once you hit roll three then level them up try to get a bison when you get that bison put it on the board then combine everything into a level three so basically you start scaling your bison at roll three which is nuts for late game so that's the strat hopefully you guys understand it i know maybe i didn't explain it the best but just save your level ups for roll three try to get something quick get hopefully get lucky for bison and basically scale from there so guys thanks for watching